Hi, I'm John Wilder, historian for Aleppo Shrine and Boston Commandery. Um, over the past couple of years through the pandemic, I've been working on the archives of Boston Commandery. Uh, we have been renovating our armory, so it was a great opportunity for me to get through, collect all the records, go through and see what should be kept, what needed to be kept. We had boxes and boxes of boxes of correspondence files, and so many of them were just carbon copies of letters saying, thank you, I have received your dues check. Not exactly historically relevant. However, every so often I'd find a gem in the, uh, in the paperwork. So one of those today um, is an interesting piece, which I'll talk about in a minute. But the overall topic today is traveling cr credentials. So in 2019, I had the opportunity to travel with a brother to uh, Edinburgh, Scotland, and we visited a lodge. We visited the Grand Lodge over there, and we visited a lodge that his father and grandfather were a member of. It was a great experience, um, but before I went, I made sure to contact my Grand Lodge in Massachusetts and get a official letter of introduction. It's a letter with the seal of the Grand Lodge, and it says who I am, and then I'm a brother in good standing, etc., etc. So that's you know, a good document to get me into any lodge that the Grand Lodge of Massachusetts recognizes. You know, we have our dues card, but these are a step above. Now, way, way back in the day, besides your traveling diploma, you had, I mean, besides your regular diploma, you had a traveling diploma. This folded up, and we'll make sure we get a good picture of this. This is actually a blank one that I found in the Lodge of an Attic. Um, sorry, the attic of a lodge. <laughs> but this had all the regular information. It was, would have had the seal of your lodge on it, all the proper signatures. We have another one here that was actually found at Boston Commandery, but was, don't, was given back to Keith McKinnon because it is from Amicable Lodge in Cambridge that he is a historian of. So these went out of use about the early 1900s. Now, along that line, in the files of Boston Commandery, I found this document, which I uh, laminated just to, um, to keep together, because it was in two sections. As you can see, it's cut down the middle, and it's hard to see, but you can see it in person. There is an embossed seal that the cut actually goes through. Half of this letter, it comes from a... Uh, Oakland Commandery Number 11 in Oakland, California, stated 1949, and it was a letter of introduction for a Sir Knight who was traveling to Boston Commandery. Half of the letter traveled with the Sir Knight. The other half was mailed ahead of time to Boston Commandery, so that when the Sir Knight arrived, he could present the other half, they were placed together, and the commander and recorder of Boston Commandery could see that it was a genuine document. So I have, you know, you hear stuff like this in the movies or in stories. I've never come across something like this before. It's the first time it's happened. Perhaps if there's any Sir Knights or Brothers from California, you can tell me if this was a common practice back then. I just found it very, very interesting in, to find amongst uh, a lot of other files that were not really of historical interest. So once again, it's one of the things that it, it pays to take the time to dig through and find, because you never know what's going to turn up. I've, I've come across so many interesting stories and tidbits of information in places that, you know, we would have otherwise uh, delegated directly to the trash. So um, it's an interesting piece. It's not really of historic interest in terms of the records of Boston Commandery, because we would have the records in our minutes saying that the Sir Knight visited or affiliated, but I think it's a great physical example to keep and to share of a practice that was used back then. So thank you for tuning in. If you enjoy what you see, remember to like our video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and follow us on Facebook. Thank you.